guys and welcome to the very last day of vlogmas oh. obviously i got like five hours of sleep last night been up since 5 30. yeah oh yeah we're about to go christmas shopping for my mom right, we, i hate to break can we get gas can we get starbucks i am gonna die oh my god i look pink because of my shirt the mall. Okay, so right now we are stopped getting gas, but my dad's van is so loud, so like I cannot vlog when we're moving because it's just crazy. Oh, I just want to say this is the most unhappy sweater ever. <laughs> like honestly, I never thought I would become one of these people. I don't know who I am. Right now I'm on like. Regular. Sorry. Cash. 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 Fifty five zero one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, am, I never, I was telling him cash, but I never thought I'd become one of those people. I'm on like a fiend to get Starbucks right now. Throughout this vlogmas, if sees you, you're gonna be locked up. No, I will not. Throughout this vlogmas, start off vlogmas, I'm like, Starbucks, what is Starbucks? And now I'm like, I need it! Okay, I just want you guys to know the only times I drink Starbucks is when I'm vlogging about it. I have never, throughout this whole entire December, I have not drunk, I have not drunk, that is crack crime by the way, it's drink, drank, have drunk. Anyways, I have not drunk one cup of Starbucks without drink, vlogging. Drink. It's drink, drank, have drunk. Sing, sang, have sung. So you, so I feel like my addiction seems more than it is. I'm really not addicted to Starbucks. Like, I really haven't had that much, but when I do have it, I vlog about it. So it seems like more if, if that makes sense. Anyways, I am A, tired and B, hungry, so I need Starbucks. So basically, I normally like it black, but I'm going to get a, I think, large with soy milk because Dad, uh, Dad if I'm real vlogging, you're really gonna turn on the radio like that, bro. Um. Anyways, so I'm gonna get a large, and I can't have Dunkin' Donuts because they don't have soy milk, or at least I don't know. Last time I just uh, Dunkin' Donuts, that's actually what got me on black coffee. I was like, hi, I do have non-dairy milk, and she was like, we have almond, and I'm like, great. I'm allergic to almonds, so I had black, and I was like, whoa, this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, but right now I. Didn't get to have my full breakfast, so bada bing, bada bam. Gonna have. And maybe I'll get a medium, I don't know. Wow. The possibilities are endless. I'm making such a big deal over nothing. Anyways. Anything to say, Dad? What? Anything to say? You are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I'm really... I have to pull down chairs are hurt. I'm really not. Ew. I literally look like I'm dying. Cool. On the hunt for Starbucks. Finally, we are done shopping, and we put in a lot of effort. And even though it's Christmas Eve, don't let that fool you. We put in effort. Right, Dad? Yep. <laughs> I love them all at Christmas time. Okay, so right now, folks, right now on the Clancy Show, nice little setup in the van of life. Yeah, my dad, this is his Burke van. He's getting uh, some food right now. He's running into the grocery store. He's like, are you coming in? If you come in, you're just going to delay everything. I'm like, all right, I guess I'm not coming in. But um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm in the mall or whatever. Sorry I couldn't vlog. Um, my hands were literally full. I didn't bring a purse, and I had my Starbucks in one hand. I can't, my phone, it was just crazy. My dad comes out to me, like we, I picked out a sweater for my mom, I'll show you everything when I get home, but, um, and then I was like, dad, I think I'm gonna get mom like, like a lipstick, I'm just gonna check it out. Went downstairs while he's paying, and like, it was like, I don't know, we thought it was like an $80 sweater or something like that. My dad like, frantically comes out to me, he's like, we gotta get something else, this is a sweater, it was discounted, I didn't even know it, it was only like 30 something dollars. And I'm just like, okay dad, calm down. So we got her a few other things. Right now I'm having the meat that Carly sliced me yesterday. I bet it's gonna taste great considering it was sliced by a sandwich goddess. <laughs> Shout out Carly. But yeah, so I, have, I haven't had turkey in like 500 years so I'm a chicken kid, but had to have some, you know, deli turkey. And I also have not toasted bread in 500 years. I normally have it in the panini maker, but figured why not. This one's done. Oh, they're both done. Cool. All right, so right now, this is toasted to perfection. Um, oh, no. <laughs> he always thinks I'm talking, man. Um, <laughs> wasn't that funny, Mom? <laughs> yes. And basically, you know, it's kind of an art making a sandwich, but I don't know. You kind of, not everyone has, like, the ability, but I do. But, yeah, you kind of just have to, you know, make it look nice. Oh, 
Oh shoot, this is still showing? Show the camera how you ruin my lunch. I did not. How do you think I ruined your lunch? Like my dad freaked out because I ate his last banana. You basically freaked out. You're like, oh my god. Whatever. I, I was hungry yesterday. Barbarium. And this is how you make a sandwich. What? He's away. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I woke him. you bumped into me. I woke him. I woke him. You bumped into me and I spilled my water so you can clean that up. I woke him. <laughs> my mom told me my dad was sleeping, so I forgot to video recorded him, but that was so awkward because then he just looked right at me and was awake, so. There's really water on the floor though, so I don't know. Water. In the hallway. Later on, we'll be yelling at Molly. Yeah. We're having an accident. Guess what time it is? Zoodle time. Making some for me and Tom. Uh, I don't know what you want to call this, a second lunch, a snack, I don't know. I don't know, an early dinner, I don't know. Oh, Molly, your paws, she eats her paws, look how red they are, you're so cute though, don't ever forget it, don't forget. Okay, can anyone explain this logic to me? My mom brought my brother two boxes of cookies, and then he leaves three and decides to open the other box. I, what, what? Like, you have to finish one box before you go on to the next, pal, like, oh my gosh. Idiot. Okay, so I decided I wanted to show you guys what I got my mom for Christmas. Ew, why did you pronounce that Christmas? Christmas. Okay, anyways. The first thing I'm really sad and worried about, I saw this in the store. My dad and I did not know what the heck to get my mom. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, dad, this is the prettiest sweater ever. And oh my gosh, it would look so nice on mom, especially because like my mom's very tan. I felt like white. You'll see the sweater, I'll show it to you. I hate when people like describe things so much. I'm like, just show it up to us. Anyways, this is what it looks like, and I was like, I really could see mom wearing this. Like, this is so beautiful. I don't know. I just, like, love nice, thick, white sweaters. It's really nicely made. I was looking at them in the store, and I was telling my dad, I'm like, he looks like my gay dad. Like, I'm, like, holding the sweaters up to him, because, like, just because I wanted someone, like, I needed to, like, see what they looked like um, compared to someone else. Obviously, my dad is 6'2", or something. Obviously, he's bigger than my dad, my mom, but I needed something to compare it to. And I was holding them up and I was like, geez, dad, like these, the sweater runs very small. So I got my mom like a really big size, extra large. And then I just got home and I was like, let me just try this on just to see if, like how big it would be on me. Guys, it fit me. Like it was like a little bit big, granted, but like it basically fit me. So I don't think this is going to fit my mom. So yeah. Anyway, so I don't know. We'll figure out the sweater crisis of 2015 in a later time. Um, the next thing I got my mom... I really wanted to get her a MAC lipstick. She likes MAC lipstick. And I wanted to get her one. It's really hard picking out lipstick on someone who's not yourself. Just because, like, you're not used to who doesn't have the same, like, skin tone, eye color, that type of stuff as you. Um, it's just a different ball game. Things look different on you, like, than they do on whatever. So, I had a few shades in mind. Then I asked the MAC woman, the worker, I was like, hi, like, I'm picking out a lipstick for my mom. She's, like, tan. Like, that was, like, the main thing. I'm like, like, if you're looking at me, this is not what you want to be looking at. You want to be looking at someone who's tan or, like, this picture of that. Um, and she recommended Whirl, which I was like, as soon as she said that, I'm like, done. Because I've heard so much about Whirl. That's like a lip liner that Kylie Jenner used, and it's a really nice shade, especially for someone who's tan. I'm opening this. Obviously, I'm not using it, but it's just my mom's. It looks like this. And it just seems like such a pretty shade, and I feel like it would look really nice on my mom. I was like, I want it to be something like natural. Yeah, and then I wasn't even thinking lip liner, but the woman was like, recommended Soar lip liner, which I've heard so much about. I've wanted Soar for my own lips, like, for years. So why not get it for my mom? Um, and she said the two pair so well together. It looks like this, and yeah, she basically just said that they blend really nicely together and i was like you sold me and then the last thing i got is a beauty blender and i feel like my mom's gonna open this up and not even know what this is and be like what the heck you got me a sponge like what okay but i don't know there's no way to explain it like you guys all know what a beauty blender is obviously before i used a beauty blender i didn't really know like what the heck the big hype is but i just i will never apply my foundation with anything other than a beauty blender from now on basically so i know my mom uses like brushes and her hands to apply her makeup but mother you gotta use this. You you dampen it. You, well, I just said with an accent. You dampen, you dampen it, and it is just the best. Beauty blenders. Like, oh my gosh, no going back. So yeah. And then Carly, I just have to wrap her gifts. This Q and I book, tan towel, and then I also got her these Irish drinking socks, kind of just as a as a nice. Uh, you know, gag gift kind of type thing. I'm actually really mad between you and me. I actually bought Carly another thing. I bought her a $25 Starbucks gift card. I literally can't. I've been looking everywhere for it. I don't know. I think my cleaning men misplaced it. Because, like, my cleaning men, like, they're like my homies. They would never steal anything. But I think they misplaced it. 
because it was just laying there. Um, oh, but yeah, so gotta go wrap everything. I love how my brother nor my dad will help me with this, even though it's from all of us, but whatever. I'm scrolling through Instagram, minding my own business, and all of a sudden I came across this photo, and I'm just like, one of us Neil with another dog. Guys, tell me this doesn't look like my brother. I guess you don't really know what my brother looks like. I'm about to show you what he looks like, but it is literally Neil. Neil, let's do a profile shot. Oh, you're already doing it, kind of. Just look straight. Oh, I don't know. It's like... I it feel, does look good. I even thought it was... It, it's definitely... Like, if you know Neil, this is him. I saw the picture. Oh, yeah, thought, yeah, yeah. That's the funniest part. I thought, what fucking dog is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's me. It looks just like me. This is my brother. What the heck? It looks just like me. Like, holy shit. That's that so disgusting. Me. And, like, weird. And, like, the hair is pretty much the same. The nose is the same. The eyes, what the fuck? Like, that's me. Like, down to the ear. Every no, the ears are a bit different. No, the you, no, the ears are different. The ears are different. Really? I, yeah, his I ears like that, like inside out kind of ear, but like and like outside. I don't know, like you'd wear that color, like right no, now, I right have now that you're shirt. wearing that. No, no, color. no, I have that shirt, but I always have to roll the sleeves because it's too short. And that shirt looks too short. Apparently, Neil gets told a lot. He looks like whoever Forrest Griffin oh, uh, Griffin is. We're about to uh, look up that little fellow. We go in there, and there's a dude behind the counter, like all the way back there. Literally sees me, like fast walks over for a second. You know who you look like, like, and I was like, who? And he goes, Forrest Griffin. Like he thought, like, and his face was. He was expecting me to say, like, I am Forrest Griffin. It's me. But I was like, no. Like people told me that he's like, oh shit, man. And I'm like, but I don't look anything like Forrest Griffin. So thick, obviously. I'll show you what Forrest Griffin looks like. Like I would have rolled with it. Oh my God, you really do look like him. Wait, let me see. Like look. You put yourself into him? What? No, that's a picture of him. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> What's going on? What did you just say? That's a picture of him, Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are you saying? I literally thought that was you! <laughs> so I guess maybe I do kind of like I showed her this picture. <laughs> Like what? That's him. <laughs> it doesn't look that much like him. <laughs> from this spot, that is one questions down, you no questions asked you. Where when Carly comes over we're asking her. This is like a vibe to Carly. Carly decided to join the fam on Xmas Eve. Yeah, we do a gift exchange, but we open them on Christmas morning. Well let me get yours. Oh my god, Carly, how do you feel that like all my followers know what you got? But you don't oh. know. Wait, Carly, ready? We're gonna videotape the gift exchange, but like normally what that means is like, oh, like opening up presents, we're yeah. just gonna videotape us exchange, <laughs> literally. That's our gift exchange! This is literally the end of Vlogmas, so. Bye, it's Vlogmas. Been it's been nice. It's been nice. You only really have one guest Being appearance. Star. Hey guys, so right now it's 1.30 on Christmas Eve. All of the company have left. I am going to fall asleep and die. So tired, but. Wow, this is the end of my last Vlogmas. That is crazy. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see me continue vlogging um, even after Vlogmas is over. But I'm gonna be recording myself opening up presents tomorrow morning, so if you want to see that, you can check that out on my main channel. And yeah, so um, guys, it has been real. It has been honestly such a wonderful December. Seriously, like, a great month, honestly. Um, and yeah, it's, I'm gonna have to leave it here because I'm about to fall asleep and die, but pretty much that's it. Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.